Some of the first time. Some. Whenever. Today and throughout the day and the middle of the day. I don't know. And there's a mall. For the street. I just want to know if she can go to child mark. Niños! <laughs> Chema! Verde! Now you down the bus! Min! Min! Yeah! Negro! It is color negro! Huh? If you go straight down. I didn't. I'm sitting. I threw at him, but it bounced off. <laughs> no, I'm just recording for, to send it to my boyfriend. I don't know. Hi. <laughs> 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 oh my god, you bonked their head to each other. Oh my god. So they don't He's not feeling it. He don't like that. Hey. I was recording them. Imagine if you lost your phone and it's just recording. <laughs> Nachito! Hola, <laughs> Mata. Discover the Apple experience of all qualifying Jeep vehicles. Enjoy maps, messages, beats audio, and up to six months free of Apple Music with access to over 45 million songs. So pick a song and tour in the Jeep Compass, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, or the Jeep Renegade. Right now, we'll qualify to join the FCA last year. Jeep Cherokee Limited, four wheel drive, leather trim seats, and 8.4 inch Jeep Connect touchscreen for $159 a month. Thank you. Four months for $39.99 to its signing. Tax title license extra. Visit Jeep.com slash Apple for details. Available features. Better than one in the date, nine Jeep for details. Requires bigger cars, use no lease price or capital. Currently, it's must in by 
What, what does it have? I but I dare you to get up on that, Nelly. This? I'm gonna break my myself. Nelly? What? I'm gonna break myself. No, you're not. As long as you walk across, I'm just talking about walking across it. I'm like stuck at everything though. You think I'm gonna be able to do this? Oh, you, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, do it. Machita! Hey guys. It's me. Que? Come to loom. It's brand new. I literally just gave it to him. Let me switch it up. Is it looking at Así, mira, lo puché para arriba. ¿Te lo vas a comer o no? Pues si no lo quieres, yo me lo como. ¿Quieres que me lo como? Entonces, cómetelo. ¿Querías otro sabor o qué? Ni has probarlo. No, tenés que probarlo. Pruébalo. Nachito. Pruébalo primero. Pruébalo primero y luego decide. Mira, ¿te lo pucho para arriba? Ya te lo puché para arriba. Mira. No, que querías bolis. Tú dijiste, ok. Ya no me vas a agarrar. No agarres, no quieres. Pues, mi amor, ¿qué quieres entonces? ¿Lo quieres o qué? Ahora la servilleta. Ten. Así como otro. So yeah, earlier we were at gymnastics gym. And it was um, an ex coworkers of my mom's daughter's birthday party. And she does gymnastics, so she had her birthday party there. And that's where they were. No, Luna! Yeah, that's why I am making them kind of. Mirror downwards, though. It's already the end of the day. The boys were all jumping around and jumping in the sponge pit thing, jumping on the jumper, the beams and stuff. They're really enjoying it. Um, yeah, um, yeah, we're home now, as you can tell. Yeah, this is the outfit I put on. I'll show you a better video. Wait a minute. Did you get up? What happened to your police? <laughs> you took it out of the packet. Ya no hay, ya se capó. Se capó, tíralo en la basura.
Ok, tíralo, tíralo. Tíralo. Ahí está, listo. ¿Cómo te da el yogur, Nachito? Oh, papo, chema. It's literally melting in Nachito's hand. I don't even know. What's stupid with that? Like, he wants to eat it, but like, it came out of the packet, so. Yeah. I didn't vlog very much today, but um, we'll have a decent sized vlog. So, yeah. been having trouble with the past couple of days vlog yesterday vlog was just a chill day we didn't do anything so yeah I didn't really vlog today I wasn't sure if I should pick up the camera because like, we weren't like, I wasn't sure if we were gonna do anything that I remember today was the birthday party so I was like you know what let me take the cam my phone just in case even though it's not activated or anything and see if I can record some footage. Yeah, I should record it on the way there because, like, we were going around in circles up in Beckville. So, because my mom, she ended up forgetting her phone here at the house. My sister, um, she was, she doesn't have Facebook or right now that's phone. My mom's ex coworker, they're like really close still. That's just obviously. And then my phone, I have Facebook and I had gotten the invitation and um, I have no service, no nothing, I just have phone that I have just connected to the Wi-Fi. And we tried to turn on my sister's hotspot so I could connect to it to get the address for the place. And oh my god, it wouldn't show up at all. It was so irritating. My mom was freaking frustrated, so we had to call my brother to get my dad to, like, get into my mom's phone to get the address. So, yeah. Uh, then we did find the place because, like, the, when my sister was trying to look for the place with the GPS, it kept leading us into an alley, like, right in front of it because, like, there's a, the gym then there's a parking lot and then there's like a hotel like a hotel like right after but behind the hotel there's like kind of like an alley kind of thing so yeah and like it kept telling us to turn on the alley behind the hotel which was confusing and then like once we passed it, it would like reroute us back to there so it was like, oh my god, seriously? Yeah. And we have gotten just in time for the party. Good thing that my, my mom, she hurried us out the door before it was time. Like, maybe more than half an hour. So, that was uh, a good thing. Cause we're like doing that for like at least 10 minutes. Good thing Chema was sleeping or was we had two fussy kids. Because Luna's trying to get out. Nachito was, well, every now and then he was like getting fussy because he wanted to get out of the car seat. So. Thank God Chema did not take his nap here at the house or there. And. Oh. Uh, He waited until we were about to leave to get start getting sleepy. Hola, 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 hola. Hi everyone. Hola, hola a todos. Hola. Yeah, they love strings. Mom. Look at that cutie. Mira ese guapote. Iralo. Oh, 
Yeah. Every time I wear this shirt or any shirt with strings. That's why they were messing with my dad's shoes. Just have laces. And they had to mess with laces. And they like shoes in general. I don't know. Onde é papá? A papá não está. Ahorita hablamos com papá, ok? Papá! Papá! Yeah. They had a blast. It's so tiring. Oh my god. We're up to them. I'm glad my sister was up over there. And she came to tell me. You probably see her. Kind of in the vlog. I'm trying to walk her too much because she doesn't want to be in the vlog. Hopefully later on, down the road, she wants to get on the vlog. So we'll see. Ouch. Me dice topes. No me dice topes. No. Ya no. Ya no topes. Ouch. They kept checking out the girls that were there, too. Older girls. Like, 10-year-old girls. Like, Natalie. The birthday girl. And her friends. And then I think, like, the coaches of the gym. Oh, they were really checking them out. <laughs> they, kept, they would stop. Like, like a couple feet away. And just stare at them. Mom! That was a little funny. Yeah. I don't know why, but they're total forms. Uh, uh, Especially in Machi Dome. Oh my god. Uh, Ever since they were little, they're always trying to flirt with pretty girls. Mom, mama, like, only with pretty mama, girls they flirt with. Mama. Get the phone. Like, right off the bat, they, they, they either stare at them or try to make them laugh. Yeah. So funny. How they're total flirts. Like, they're gonna be players. Like, we joke around that they have two gr two girlfriends, two older girlfriends out in Napa. Like, Chema, his girlfriend is two years older than him. Yeah, and then Machito's is like a couple months older. Yeah, like three months, I think. Before. She was born in like November and December, and they were born in February. So it's like hella funny. They always look at older girls. It's like rare when they look at a baby that's a girl, like younger than them, like a baby. Like, well, it makes sense. Like, they want, like, they're gonna like older girls because, like, they're more developed, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know. Cause like, can't tell if you have a number of band. Like, well, there are perps, but still, I can't see him. Porque se le sentoja a babies. Right, that just venting. Being a mom of multiples, twins or more, or you have multiple kids, this is super hard. Especially when they're close in age. Mandy dances. Chema. Hola. Got the chibi ass. The Cheeto. What's 
sometimes I wonder what they're doing. Like, I'm just like, what the hell is going through their minds? Dile hola. Dile hi. Hey. Con las dos manos. Dile hi. Nachito, dile hi. Hola. La hola, hola. No, they just say hi, not hola or anything. So it's like, um, how are they gonna do it in Mexico? When they go, see the fam. Like I try to teach them to be strict on the Spanish, but. My sister and my brother do not help. Like my brother, he at least, he does like 50, 50, if that, but he mostly, um, Natalie, she does mostly English. I tell her, Spanish, or at least 50, 50, if you can't do full Spanish. Like, learn more Spanish if you want to speak to them because they need Spanish is going to be their first language. Like, that's what I want as for my kids because the majority of their family speaks Spanish. It's like their dad and the rest of his family is from Mexico. The only people that were born here in the United States is their cousins from my sister in law that I no longer talk to. I went one day I'll put that in a video of what happened and everything. Like all the shit about her. It would be a long video. Yeah. This is one of the bins. Here. That's so yeah. The her kids are out in Napa. This two. One, I think he just started high school. The other one is just finished elementary school, I think. Because when I'm... I think it's 10. And it's like 8 and 10 or something like that. I don't know. I didn't really talk to them. <laughs> He'd, he'd tell me stories about them when they were younger, but he never really told me their age, except one time, but I don't remember how long ago was that. And I've been with my boyfriend like three years, <laughs> two years. So maybe like, you said one was seven and one was nine, I think, if I remember correctly. I knew one was nine. So that one's going to be ten. I think that's the older one. I'm not her position. We'll have to figure it out. So, yeah. Those are the two only ones that were born here. My boyfriend, he has a cousin here in Napa too, but he's born in Mexico as well. On my side, it's a different story. Most of my, all of my cousins, like my first cousins, were born here. Yeah. All my first cousins were born here, both sides, like my mom's and dad's. But that's uh, like my most of my uncles on my dad's side were born in Mexico, and so 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 is my mom's. Because I'm not sure if Jose Juan, I think Jose Juan 
my mom's second to last brother. Her third brother was born in Mexico. And as a baby, he came. And so the baby baby, Carlos, is born here. But he's he's in the Air Force. He's about to get married in June this year. And then on my mom's, my dad's side, the last four brothers were born here. And the la youngest one, Alex, he's a, in the army. The, because my grandma brought them all from Mexico. The oldest four with my dad's the first one. And then the two girls, yeah, two aunts. From Mexico, when, after, like, when my tia Concha, the youngest girl, because it's four boys, two girls, and then four boys. The youngest girl, she was maybe a year old. She was, I think she was barely walking. Oh, gosh, yes. He just gave me the remote. With the batteries. Out. No te puedo dar las baterías. No. No, no, las baterías no. Si quieres el control, si no, nada. No. El control no puedes tener los dos. Ok, gracias. Ok, ten. Ok, nada. ¿Lo crees? Pues no lo quieres. No vas a ganar las baterías. Eso para mamá nomás. Y tu tío, y tu tía, y tu abuelo y la nana. No, las baterías no. ¿Entiende? The terco that he wants the batteries. No. No vas a ganar nada. So, yeah. Um, yeah, pretty much the majority of our family is born in Mexico. Yeah, okay, most my my dad's cousins were born in Mexico as well. My second cousins, mm, not some of them were born here. Okay, let's see. On my mom's side, my second cousins, like my my mom's cousins and my second cousins were born in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Especially the ones I know. I have met. So, yeah. Deja ahí, Chema. Deja! No puedes tocar ahí. So yeah, like the majority of the family speaks Spanish. Like my grandparents, both sides, my grandma, my mom's mom, and my dad's parents speak Spanish. Mostly. Like they they might know a couple words, but the same. They understand a little bit more, but not a lot. Like sometimes like my, my sister's asking my mom if she can have something. And my, mom, my grandma won't know what it is. Like my dad's mom. Well, both grandmas. They know she wants something, but they don't know what. So they're just like, ¿Qué quieres, mija? What do you, what do you want, sweetie? Like, and then my mom's like, like, writes her out basically. And so it's like, oh, she wants this. Or she, my mom tells my sister, like, go ahead and ask her if what you want. So, because, like, we were raised to ask my mom permission if we can have certain things, especially if it's from a, another house. And then, and then ask the person, like, like, basically say, oh, if she says yes, can I have this? Pretty much. That's how I want to raise my kids, because, like, I don't want them, like, because, like, sometimes, like, my grandma's basically spoil your dinner or your lunch with snacks like my grandma she has a goodie drawer at her house because she's the one here in Vaselia 
by Fresno, Medicinal. Right now she's oh, over there, Mexico. Right now she's she moved back to Mexico, but she's coming back the 27th and the same the hand that that day in the afternoon. She's coming with her, her daughter Lala, the oldest of the two girls. I'm not sure if she's coming. <laughs> My grandma's teacher and I think my grandpa is coming here. They're gonna sleep here. And my old, the old room I was sleeping in, the one on the side of that wall. And uh, they're gonna sleep there in the guest room. It's, it's It was originally a guest room, like, well, first playroom and then guest room. And then it was my room. And then now it's a guest room again. Bajase! Yo! Yo! Over there, I think. They always do that. Yeah. Calmase. Yeah. And so, the 27th, the night, they're coming over here. Oh my god, my tia Lala, she has five freaking kids. So it's like, oh my god, se van a engentear los niños. Like, they're gonna be so overwhelmed with the people. They're not used to people. As you can tell, like, it's basically empty, the house. Like, my grandma, she wants to come here so she can celebrate my dad's birthday because it's the 30th. And, like, my mom has heard that their Lala is just coming to go wine tasting with my Aunt Denise. She's going to be officially my aunt. And, like, next month, I think? Or September or something like that. <laughs> And um, my uncle daddy, one of the four younger ones, oh, oh. my younger brothers, and oh, my dad. Oh, so. Yeah. So. How's this going to be crowded? So. You'll see the vlog then. How crowded okay, it's going to be. Oh my god. This house is going to be a wreck. It's always a wreck when there's 12 people here. So it's like, oh my god. My mom. She can't wait. I can't wait. I love them and everything. I love how being with them. We're going to the house. But the whole weekend is like, oh god. But. You gotta love your family. It makes life exciting, especially when you have a big family. I love them. Like, when they're like, here at the house, it's just like overwhelming having so many people for long periods of time. Like anybody, like family or not, friends. Especially when you have little kids that are not used to it. Like a lot of people, it's like, oh my God. Yeah. Like, I'm kind of used to it because, like, I grew up with that because, like, my dad was, like, a party person when he was younger. So, pretty much, like, the majority of my memories of a childhood, I don't have very many, but as a child, it was parties at the house. Parties, parties, parties. Like, my mom says, like, weekends. Every single weekend, there was a party. That tells you something. Uh, just how it is to be a Mexican. So, that was crazy. My mom, she had no, She was like, I'm done hosting. Give me a break. Yeah. And then we moved here. Everything's calm. <sighs> Thank God. And it doesn't feel as crowded when people are over here. Because it's so much bigger. Like our old house that we still have fits in this house. It's a one story. Four bedrooms. And then at the garage. I feel like it's like a two it's like a two car garage. This one's a two car garage. But the other one we didn't really use it as a garage. We just used it as a toy room or more recently. Well we are still living there but First, it was like a little, kind of like a apartment, one bedroom apartment. 
where it had like a living room, its own door to the outside, and the door to the inside, and there was a its own little kitchen. So, yeah. I, I really like that house. Like, I have so many memories. But I have so many memories here. But I've always wanted that house. So I'm just like, <sighs> I always told my parents, like, oh, it inherited me the house. But I'm, now I'm just like, I don't know. No. Oh, shoot. I'm a sustas. I'm a sustas. You're the muscle. No, 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 no. A mamá no se pega. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Habla con el dedito, nena. No, no, no. No, no, no. Enséñale a, a todos. Dile, no, no, no. No, no, no. Dile, no, no, no. Con el dedito. That's my little family. Later on, you'll get to meet your dad. Cause later, I don't know. Like I'm hoping soon, I get to move out with him. Come miss him. And they miss him too. Those little men. Those little guys right there. And he misses us. <sighs> Stupid Trump. One day we'll be there. With him. Soon. I finally get to meet his family too. So yeah, I'm not really complaining. I always wanted to live there. Even as a kid, I would say I wanted to live there. So. Hopefully one day soon I can move in with him. Well, first we're going to stay at his house. His mom's house. While we built our house. Because his grandpa, that he, and it, he had given his house to my boyfriend because he was the only one without a house here or there so yeah we have land like pretty decent piece of land i'm not sure how big it is so i don't know how the state of the house is either of his grandpa because it's been at least four years since his grandpa died may you rest in peace because he still takes care of us like i can feel his presence sometimes and so strong and like We've noticed that he comes to visit us because he like some that even when they were boys were little little they'll be cracking up looking at the ceiling from the crib even while we were right there. They castle. So yeah, I felt him before. Like it was so strong. I kind of confuse it with the evil spirit. I'll tell you that you guys that story. He had made that promise that he would take care of his family even after death. And he has. He's taken care of us. He's helped me. Him and the Virgin Mary have helped me with the Virgin Guadalupe. Even the Guadalupe has helped me with a little guy right here. They have to put it in the book pieces. That this little guy right here, which I'm a bahasi. With this little guy, I'm with Chemita. We call it Chemita, but Chema. But his name is Jose Maria. And it's this Manuel Ignacio. Manuel, like my great grandpa that passed away when I was 15. Yeah, like that's like fucking third dad. But, anyways. Yeah. Jose Maria, Jose, is from my boyfriend's grandpa. 
as well. <sighs> well, I'll tell you that whole story about Chairman went in his video. I do in the future. But yeah, like, yeah, I don't know how the state of his house is, so we're gonna build the new one because, like, supposedly it's falling down from part. So, yeah. If you don't need to win, like, his mom is gonna let us stay there at his at her house. Like he's staying there right now. Why? And then when I go over there, say hello. I'm in mood. No te puedo pasar todo el tiempo con él. ¿Ya? ¿Contento? <laughs> He's looking around to make sure I'm not sitting down. Okay, so, yeah, so hopefully when I get there, we can start the process of building our house. Deja ahí, Nachito. He's keep moving the couch to get on top of this cabinet thing. This cabinet. Yeah, so hopefully when I get there, uh, we can start the building process of our house. <laughs> like, ouch! Mi amor, me topellas! Deja! Ya! <laughs> Hopefully when we get there. Cállese ya. Cállese. Cállese. No. No me, ni me chilles. Me tropeaste los pies. No puedes estar moviendo el sofá. Ya. Ya. Cállese. So hopefully when I get there, we can start building the house. So hopefully, fingers crossed, changuitos can podemos empezar. That we can start building it. That way we can have our own place, our own space. So. Hopefully, my mother-in-law loves me, at least likes me. Yeah. Hopefully, I, I probably will get along with her depending on how she is, but I feel like I will as long as, because she doesn't seem like she has that attitude of, I think I'm better than everyone or I'm all of that. It's a lot of Mexican women, especially like traditional women in Mexico. They're more. <laughs> they're more loving and not selfish. So yeah. So I felt like I will get along with her. So. And then she's not gonna be like hovering so much like my mom. So like my parents. Mom hovers a lot, so yeah. So. Yeah. Hopefully, the thing goes well. I can go be free, be the mom I want to be. Be more independent because I just feel like sometimes, like my mom doesn't want to let go yet. 
Like she says she wants to let go, but then we are so dependent. But what's fault is that? That's how you raise them to be so dependent. But I want to fly out of the nest already, so. I can't. I'm playing in the nest. So. Oh, belly. Okay. Well, I'll be back. I just want to prep them some all because it's that time. Uh, I don't want him to cry anymore. There's some more milk. Somebody finished it. Some. Whatever. Today, throughout the day, and middle of the day, I don't know. And there's some milk. It's free. I just want to ask if she can go to Chalmar, the gas station nearby, to get us some milk. Because they can't go to sleep without milk tonight. They're already asking for that. Lechita, ve, mi amoso. Ahorita va a ir la nana a agarrar lechita. Ok, no. Yo sé, mi amoso, que qué es leche. Tenemos que esperar, porque alguien se lo acabó, se lo acabaron. Yo sé, mi amor. Yo sé. Yo sé. No, I'll be back. Hopefully, uh, I'm putting the mill or something. Like that. All right, so I'm back. My mom, she. Just got back with the milk and I heated up the milk. And there they are. Eating. Ya comiendo la leche. So thanks. Thank you for watching the vlog. And yeah, giving you a back story. That's all that jumble. <laughs> the nonsense. Yeah. So yeah. Thanks for watching the vlog and give it a, this video, this vlog, a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to come along with the, with this journey of life. I don't know why I did that. Come along to for this journey of life that we're struggling and enjoying. Just come on, take that ride with us. See what it's like to live with twins or with kids and kind of have like an idea of how it's like to have kids because like I'm trying to keep it like as real as possible but yeah yeah I'm just gonna try to keep it as real I'm trying to take out like too many trans trans because like like, some people, like, they want to be a mom, and then, like, they need to see what it's like. They're kind of curious or something. I don't know. They're trying to learn. And, like, they can learn along with me. Like, try some things that they see I do or what. See what works, because, like, sometimes, like, what I do can work for you or for somebody else. Or if not, no, no. I might actually give some useful information or something. And yeah, just come along and join us. Comment whatever if you want to see something, challenge, uh, story time, anything. Comment, just comment what you would like us to, to do and what would you like seeing us do. Or whatever. See us try out something. And if you have any questions, like comment them down below and I'll try gather them up and make a QA or something. So 
let me go so I'll see you guys in the next vlog and join us on our journey so bye Bye, niños. Chema, <laughs> bye. <laughs> All right, bye, guys.